God, who is that? My son, this is my newest creation, Christ the Savior. Very cool. What's his job going to be? His job will be to save the human race from me torturing them. He's going to save them from who? He's going to save the human race from me. And how exactly is he going to do that? I'm going to send him to earth to die in a blood sacrifice to me. Wow, that seems very satanic and evil. How is this Christ figure going to pull it off? I'm so happy you asked. Last night I cloned myself, one third to be exact, and Christ is actually me too. So let me get this straight. You're going to send yourself to save the humans from you while wearing a Halloween costume so they won't recognize you saving them from you. Pretty fucking solid plan, don't you think? I don't know. I think the humans might see through that. That's exactly why I'm going to go do all this in the first century. So basically, you're tricking and deceiving everybody. That's exactly right. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Let's talk. Although many Christians will not understand that. For those of us who have deconstructed, we understand the fallacy of this thought process 100% and completely. So I'm not going to go over it too much. But what I do want you to understand and think about is that this deity, and this is for Christians too, this deity had to perform all these miraculous things in the first century and earlier. There's absolutely no way that any of the things about this deity could have could occur today and people believe it. Here's why. If there were, if this guy descended down upon a mountain with fire and smoke, we would know that there's some type of technology, some type of ship, some type of alien ship that is landing on top of a mountain. We wouldn't view it as a god because we are more technologically advanced and have more understanding of everything uh, as far as nature and mechanics and things of that nature that we would recognize as something similar to what we already know. You see, this story has to be told of this guy doing things that were beyond those people understanding. Think about it like this. If you are a person who accepts that the Anunnaki are a race of beings from another planet or pre-Younger Dryas period time frame, then to those people, they would think that those were gods. Similar to how the people of the Sentinel Islands began to worship airplanes and things of that nature. And there's a Pacific Island group that did the same thing uh, during World War II. They began to worship the technology to which they had no understanding of, thinking that it was gods, that they were gods. The GIs, they were gods. And that's what these people believed, because it was something that was so fantastical. But none of those things of splitting the Red Sea, healing all these people, uh, making the sun stop in midday and and linger none of those things can be said today none of those things can happen today without us understanding it scientifically which we would then not worship it so therefore these stories can only happen in the first century they cannot happen today and even with everything that it talks about in revelations those are things that only first century people and the earlier would think is done by god because these are the same people that thought that hurricanes were done by God, that volcanic eruptions done by God, that uh, tectonic plate shifting and continental drift done by God because they didn't have an understanding of these things. Wildfires, droughts done by God, great harvest done by God. That is their mentality because they didn't understand science in the same degree that we do. So it's a good thing that we have freed ourselves because that is the only thing we can do is to free ourselves to be ourselves because our greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.